is September 1st and I am back in Tamagami. Yay! I am on Metagamacy Lake Road and I am about five minutes from the access. I have been to this access twice before going in the direction of Wolf Lake um, and did a loop as well going in the direction of Wolf Lake. But today I am going a different way and um, I will explain more in a little bit. Well, it is just after five o'clock on Thursday, September 1st. It is the beginning for me of my Labor Day weekend, long weekend trip. Um, I am here at the Metogamacy Access in Tomogamy. I'm back in Tomogamy, yay. And uh, I'm gonna be heading in a different direction. I've been on Metogamacy before um, and through Wolf Lake and did a loop there. Today, I'm going to be heading up into Metogamacy. I'm gonna paddle as far as I can or until I find a nice site. Uh, I'm hoping to try to get close to McCarthy Bay. And then I'm gonna be going through Carl's Falls, uh, Muskinong, I don't know how to say that one, uh, Donald, Kukagami, and then back through Metogamacy through Dune and out. Um, but I'm going to take my time. Uh, I'm not doing super long distances or days like with crazy amounts of portages. I got my fishing rod. I have five nights, six days. I'm really gonna like enjoy myself out here, take my time, explore, and um, just uh, really soak in tomogamy. So I'm gonna get on the water and I uh, get paddling. It's supposed to be sunny and nice, but uh, it's a little bit overcast. As long as the winds don't pick up, I'm okay with it. All right, let's get started. All right, well, even though it is overcast, um, it is very calm out, which is awesome. It's supposed to be wind gusts up to 24 kilometers, so um, they were coming from the west. So it would be pushing me a little bit sideways, but um, there is not really any wind to speak of, so that's awesome. And uh, we're off and running. Well, it's 5.40. I'm just paddling along here. Um, it's just gone about uh, a kilometer and a half. And uh, it's eerily quiet out here. It's uh, kind of weird. It's overcast. Uh, I did grab my raincoat. Um, it was, I was so cold at work all day today. I had on a sweatshirt <laughs> over top of my tank top that I'm wearing now. And um, it was like... I think it was eight degrees when I went to work this morning, and then it was 16 during the day. And uh, even when I left work with the sun shining, I still had my sweatshirt on. It wasn't until I got into my hot car that the sun had been beating on all day um, when I took it off. And when I got to the access, I thought, I need to get like a long sleeve out because I'm gonna freeze out here in the water. So um, when I saw the the sky. It's not supposed to rain. It's not even in the forecast at all. Um, but it's super overcast and it looks like it might rain. So I just grabbed my raincoat out of the top of the pack, but I am just like roasting. So, um, yeah, kind of funny. Well, it's 10 after 6 and I have a uh, paddle just over 4 kilometers. Um, which is good and uh, the winds are still down, the conditions are still great, um, I'm still roasting which is good and uh, it's just beautiful here. Just after the portage that goes into Dune or comes out of Dune, which I will most likely be coming out of on Tuesday, the waterway narrows quite a bit. And I actually have mirror here. That's how not windy it is. It's amazing. Just over here, according to my map, um, I do have a printout of my FOT map on the floor of the canoe. And then on my screen, I have uh, Jeff's map. And according to that, there's some pictographs here. So I'm just going to kind of paddle over here and take a peek because it's not really too far out of my way. I am in a bit of a hurry to get to camp today. Um, I'll probably be in a less of a hurry on Tuesday getting out, but you never know what the weather's going to be like or what's going to happen. Hmm. 
Ooh, I believe I have spotted some of the pictographs. Uh, maybe I did see them on that trip. I don't know. It was quite a while ago. I'm um, waiting for my canoe to smash into the rocks. I don't want it to, but I couldn't help that. All right, so here are some of the pictographs. Looks like maybe um, a moose or a deer and maybe a little turtle up there. I'm not really sure. I always find it super hard to tell what they are, but it does look like there are some here. Or some here. It's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's awesome. I'm happy I saw those and I came by a look. I don't know if there's anything else. It just amazes me. Those have been there for like so long and they're still there. Like I said, even just the rocks are stunning. It is gorgeous. All right, I need to keep paddling. I'm glad I came over to take a look. I really, really love this rock here in front of me with the red inside of it. narrow section of the lake. Um, looks like most of the rest of the way is narrow like this. It opens up a little bit uh, just past this point here on the right. Uh, there is a campsite here according to the map. Um, I would like to go up a little bit further. So I'm going to keep paddling and hopefully the weather doesn't tell me that was a mistake. <laughs> Well, it's 20 after 7. I was moving pretty good till I got to those pictographs and then I started dawdling. Um, there's a campsite here somewhere on this point and it's supposed to be facing where the sun's going to come up tomorrow because I was kind of losing hope of the sunset. Um, it's actually just dropping behind the trees now already and the sun just made an appearance to do so which was very nice and I'm very grateful. Um, if I don't or if I can't see the sun come up on this campsite, uh, I have to paddle about two or three kilometers to get to a campsite where I can. And uh, I'm not sure I'm prepared to do that. So I'm just paddling around this uh, point here because it looks like the campsite is on the other side. I'm surprised at some ducks here that were on the uh, point. <laughs> Some gansers and uh, they've just gotten in the water. Sorry guys. Can't really tell if there's a campsite here or not. The other spot, there was a point there before I came around. You have to, you have to actually paddle all the way around the far end of this uh, point here because there's, it didn't look like it was open. And, um, see anything. I don't know if it's on the, on the, around the corner here. According to my GPS, I'm like at it, but this is just like a little rock island. Well, I was wrong in that last video um, where I said that I would have to paddle about three kilometers to get to the other campsites. clouds are starting to move in too and it's getting a bit darker again so um, I don't know what's going to happen with the weather. It's almost quarter to eight. Uh, still have to collect wood, make a fire, cook my dinner, all that stuff so I kind of want to get in and get settled. I'm just looking for a possible landing spot here and uh, I'll be back in a second. Beautiful landing spot here for the canoe. Uh, I kind of want to take something up. I don't want to go empty-handed, but I don't want to jinx it. Uh, it looks really, it looked really good from 
the water it looked like uh, there was a nice flat spot up here and it was actually pretty sheltered as well so oh yeah this is fantastic super sheltered so it's supposed to rain but again if it does I uh, should be able to be okay cooking my my steak and heating up my potatoes lots of grill options over there <laughs> although I have my own grill and uh, there's even a nice flat piece of wood on top of here to sit on and there's firewood that pretty much uh, cinched it for me it was already cinched pretty much um, really nice campsite beautiful flat spots here for the tent oh, wow I don't know if uh, there's privies in this uh, part of Tomogamy, but I'm definitely looking. There is a trail, and if there's a privy, I will be a very, very happy girl. <laughs> trail goes to nowhere. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there is a privy. Wow. Look at that. Sold. Sold to Camper Christina. Oh, it's pretty uh, shabby looking. <laughs> um, kind of scary looking. But I can always dig my own, but it'll do. It's just the lid actually that looks shabby, just for the record. Um, this part looks fine. So, yay, I've got a campsite. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna get my stuff and uh, bring it all up and get everything set up flickety splickety. Get a fire going while I'm setting up so that uh, I can throw my steak on the grill. And uh, I've got a whole bunch of things to do in a short amount of time. All right, not wasting any time. Uh, got the backpack, the big pack. I already brought the little pack with all the rest of the stuff. Just flipped over the boat, tied it. Put the paddle away, put the yoke away. So all that's done with. Uh, my pack somehow got wet in the boat. I don't know how, I just like barely touched my feet in the water, but there must've been some water in the boat. And uh, now my, my whole back is soaked, but uh, I was already wet and sweaty, so whatever. <laughs> all right, zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> it's eight o'clock, just 15 minutes after I landed the canoe here got the tent up. I did not set up the thermarest or the sleeping bag, but it is in the tent. Um, and before I did that, I just threw a fire stick in here and threw a couple of pieces of wood on. And uh, it has been burning, so that's great um, because now I can finish uh, grabbing my chair and getting the food and all that stuff. And then uh, by the time I get everything settled, blow up the thermarest, put the sleeping bag in my tent, uh, I should be able to throw my steak on. All right, it is now 8.25. <laughs> the race continues. Uh, fire is going very good now. I have set up the thermarest, the sleeping bag, and my pillow. Uh, my clothes are in there now. I left my backpack out. I usually put it in the tent, but uh, this was laying on the canoe on the canoe floor and it's soaking wet so I was just trying to see if I could maybe uh, get some air on it and air it out. Um, so now uh, I have changed my clothes as well. Uh, my shirt as I mentioned it got very wet from the backpack and it was all sweaty um, as was my sports bra so I have switched over to uh, a new tank top, new sports bra, and uh, a long sleeve because it was starting to get chilly. As soon as I got out of the boat, I was like, Ooh, it's getting cold. Um, so yeah, um, I'm good. I'm going to get my uh, little potatoes. I have some little potatoes. Uh, it's called the Little Potato Company. They have, um, they sell them in this kind of a foil pan with some seasoning and all you do is add oil and then cook it. And I made that for dinner two nights ago and I just kept like maybe, I don't know, seven or eight potatoes. Um, just enough to uh, go with my steak. And um, as I'm talking, it is raining now. It's just starting to rain. So, oh crap, I gotta get stuff out of here. All right, 8.35, zoom, zoom. <laughs> uh, fire's going good. I set up my tarp. 
Uh, just so I can have my chair under there. I just brought the little one and just a corner of it is by the fire. Um, and now it has stopped raining. So that's nice. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get my supper going here. I'm hungry. All right, right after that last video, it started raining again. So it's a good thing I got the tarp set up. Anyways, um, oh, it's raining again now. Uh, I just put the potatoes in um, some foil here. Just made a little packet. They just have to be heated up. So I've got them there and uh, grab the steak, which is in here. It uh, has been at work in the fridge all day and it's actually on a bag of ice. Uh, well, almost, still, still some ice in there. Um, I also brought myself a Palm Bay beverage. I'm gonna have that, it is nice and cold. And uh, I'm gonna throw this on the grill. Hopefully, I'll be eating dinner very soon. Didn't bring a plate. Um, I do have my uh, big frying pan because I'm gonna be making uh, some stuff with it uh, later on in the trip. So um, I'll probably just use that as my plate. All right. Get this all packed up, put it in the bear vault. I'm gonna open up my drink. Cheers. The rain is falling, even though there was none forecast at all. Cheers. And the first night of the trip begins. There we go. Done and done. Already cooking, look at that. The potatoes are getting warmish. Oh yeah, here we go. Boy, is it dark out there. Oh, well, my steak is ready. I cut it open, that's how I check it. Oh, I don't care, I wanna make sure. And uh, my potatoes are nice and hot, so I'm gonna sit here and eat. It has stopped raining. Um, but you never know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put my stuff in my little pan here. And it'll be good. I don't want my steak to get overcooked, so I gotta get it off. <laughs> I was gonna slide one of those little plates in there too, my, my beautiful Dollarama plates that everyone always comments about, but um, I forgot, so I have enough stuff with me, trust me. <laughs> Meat and potatoes. It's about 10 after 9. Yeah, that's pretty good. The last big trip, long weekend trip I did, it was, uh, oh my gosh, I think it was 10.45 or 11 o'clock when I was eating my dinner, but um, this is quite a bit to eat too, so I'm going to sit up for a while. It's going to take me like about three hours to drink my Palm Bay anyways, and uh, yeah, got the fire going. It's not raining right now, but um, that's okay. Look at these really cool rocks. Um, I saw this laying on the ground. At first I thought maybe it was like a piece of burnt toast or something that someone had had dropped on the ground. <laughs> and then it's a rock, it's so neat looking. And then this one, uh, it got wet. I had the Ziploc bag here with the ice in it and I dumped some of it out. And uh, look at the color on it, it's, it's so cool. But then there's like nothing on the back. In the middle, this <laughs> looks like like Melba toast, burnt Melba toast, very browned Melba toast. Anyways, uh, this is what I'm doing here. I'm sitting here looking at rocks, uh, I'm listening to an audiobook, and um, just watching the fire. I'm very close to it because it's getting chilly. I'm actually wearing a tank top, a long sleeve, and my raincoat. There are little fish in the water and they look like goldfish. Uh, I've never seen minnows like, I don't know, they're pinkish. Okay, that's so cool. 
I just came to clean my hands. They're really dirty from cooking on the fire and stuff. And um, there's a side trail that has a really nice landing too. This probably would have been a better spot for the canoe and to bring my stuff up because it's like the fire is right at the top there. So, oh well. All right, I'm gonna clean my hands. I just uh, wanted to share those fish with you. They are so cute. All right. I'm gonna go uh, into my tent and get my tights. And it's nice to put them on by the fire because you get a chair and stuff. <laughs> I can get dressed pretty easy in a tent, but it's easier in a chair. So I'm gonna do that and uh, throw a couple more sticks on the fire. I just went and grabbed some more wood. Um, after I made dinner, I grabbed a whole bunch of wood. And uh, there's all kinds out here, it's crazy. So it's pretty easy. Uh, I just used a couple pieces that were there, bigger ones, and then uh, added, to the, added to the sticks that were there. Well, it is 10.30 and I'm sitting here by a roaring fire. I know it doesn't look big or anything, but it's still very warm. And uh, I just keep throwing on one stick, two sticks, and. It just keeps burning, so um, I took a look at the sky. You can't see anything. It's super dark. There's no stars. It's kind of strange because the last couple of uh, camping trips I've been on, um, Halliburton and the Tim, Tim River, or Tim Lake, I guess. Um, Herb Lake. Beautiful, beautiful starry nights and a couple of meteors. I saw the... Uh, satellite train or whatever it's called elon musk's whatever thing i we thought it was some kind of astronomical phenomenon and then had cell service and found out nope <laughs> but it was still pretty neat and uh that's about it yeah so it's very cloudy i guess hopefully it clears up for tomorrow i see a little creature <laughs> i'm really surprised i saw that it's so tiny hello Hi, little guy. I'm just gonna put the zoom on so I don't get too close and freak it out. Probably already freaked it out. It's pretty bright. That's a creepy little thing. A salamander? It's so tiny. He's trying to, he's trying to hide from the light. I'm sorry, I'll just, I'll leave it alone. Goodbye. Thank you for coming to my video. Bye. Well, I'm just sitting here by the fire. I'm thinking about tomorrow and uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, I have a rough idea. I had a rough idea of a route I wanted to do. Um, going through here, through Carl, uh, Carl's Falls, Carl Lake, and then uh, around, I think it's, um, I think it's part of the Chinaguchi River, actually. Uh, and then it goes down into Muskinong. And then I was going to take some small, there's a couple small portages and lakes that go into Donald. And then from there, I was going to do the, I think it's a 1K into uh, Kukagami and then another 1K into Mutagamasi and back out. Um, but now I'm kind of like rethinking my plan. Um, Saturday, tomorrow night, I don't know if this has changed because of the weather. It wasn't supposed to rain at all today, so. But uh, it's supposed to be... Uh, Thunder, lightning, rain, Saturday, Friday night, Saturday morning. Um, probably till noon, or same kind of deal like uh, on my Mississauga trip. So um, I thought wherever I end up tomorrow night would be good just to stay there for two nights. And I really want to camp on Donald. I hear it's a really nice lake and I'm assuming it's popular. Tomorrow's only Friday, so uh, a lot of people have Saturday, Sunday, Monday off, generally I think, but even if they come up tomorrow, I think if I like, I don't want to go, I don't have to go super early, but I only have to paddle about five kilometers through here. And then, um, there's three portages that go down. Uh, but then from Donald, I'm not sure what I'm going to do because I have to either go to Kukagami and then out, or what makes more sense is to go through the little lakes, um, out through Muskinong and then try to get Carl's Falls for Monday night because again, Monday's a holiday. So I thought a lot of people will be leaving Monday, but I'm staying Monday night. So hopefully Carl's Falls will be empty. And then that'll be my last night before I go out from through Metagamacy. 
So I think I might do that. Um, that's what I'm leaning towards. So it means I have about three portages tomorrow and uh, maybe eight kilometers of paddling depending on where I land on Donald, how far I go. So um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking anyways. My fire's going out, so I'll be back later. Well, I walked out to where the boat is docked um, to take a look at the sky because I noticed through the trees that there were a couple of stars winking at me. Um, I am doing a pan with my camera, but you're not going to see anything, so I'm going to insert the pictures here that I took because those do come out. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with this iPhone 13 Pro that uh, I can take pictures of the stars because I could never do that before. Uh, maybe one day video will happen. You never know. It is amazing how clear it is. You can see right in the water, the rocks. Looking to see if there's any frogs or turtles or fish or anything. Over here, it just kind of drops off. It's pretty neat. Boy, did I pick a good spot for my tent. <laughs> I'm uh, just getting ready to jump in there and I can hear the wind just howling off in the distance, but uh, it's just a little breeze here and you would think being on an island, like I would just be getting blown away, but it's so, so nice and sheltered, especially where my tent is. Anywho, I'm going to hit the hay and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Well, good morning from Matagamissy Lake. It is 6.27. Uh, the sun's expected to come up at 6.42. Um, a little bit of a red uh, coloring over the trees there where the sun's supposed to come up a little earlier, just before I went to the privy. Um, but that's about it so far. Uh, I have taken the tarp down and just about to boil some water and make some oatmeal. And uh, sit here and watch the sunrise while I eat. And uh, then I'm going to pack up. And I think I'm going to go with the plan that I talked about last night, uh, heading into Donald for two nights. So I'm um, just taking a look at the map this morning. There's so many different ways you can do this route. And uh, I like that. I might be back uh, maybe Thanksgiving or another time to do, uh, to do it differently. But today, I think I'm going to head to Donald and uh, find hopefully find a nice open site and stay there Friday, Saturday, uh, due to the weather coming in tomorrow. Well, it's quarter after seven. I finished my oatmeal. I just made one package. I just wanted a little something. Um, the sun has now risen. Uh, it was a beautiful sunrise. I got to sit here and enjoy it while I was eating my oatmeal. And while I was waiting for the oatmeal to cool, uh, I went and did a bunch of things. I've already uh, gotten myself dressed for the day, uh, brushed my hair, put some sunscreen on, and uh, packed up the food bag. So I still have to pack up all the stuff in the tent and pack up the tent. So I'm gonna get on that and uh, hopefully I'll be out of here around eight-ish. I've got about four to five kilometers to paddle through 
uh, the rest of Metogamacy, and then there's two portages, uh, I believe one's into Gold Lake and one's into Colin Scott, and then the next one will take me into Donald. There's three campsites right at the north end of Donald. I'm going to look at those three, and uh, hopefully one of them will be beautiful, and um, we can set up there for two nights. Uh, beautiful, beautiful morning here on Metogamacy Lake, super quiet, not a soul, not a sound. I heard a turkey calling this morning and a woodpecker. Um, other than that, uh, the squirrels are chip, chip, chipping. I always call them chippies, even though the squirrels, because they chip, 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 like they chirp almost. Uh, but uh, yeah, some squirrels running around the campsite, uh, making some noise, and uh, that's about it. Everything is pretty quiet otherwise. So um, I'm gonna go get ready and I'll see you in a bit. Resident squirrel has come to say goodbye. <laughs> Hi. I am all packed up and ready to head out. Just uh, paid a final visit to the privy and wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything. Uh, a bunch of firewood over there. I uh, left some more over there. And uh, I am off. Beautiful day here. In Tamagami, just some light clouds coming up over the uh, trees. And that's about it. <laughs> all right, it is five to eight, all packed up and ready to go. And uh, we're off. Paddled about a kilometer. Uh, the campsite, there's an island campsite right here that looks really nice. Um, and the other campsite that was across the lake from me, uh, I passed by that as well, and that looked really nice as well. So lots of nice campsites here on Metogamacy. Just notice there's a little bit of fog coming up off the water here. Looks really pretty. All right, I'm about a third of the way through already here almost, so just keep going. Well, as I've been paddling through McCarthy Bay, the wind is picking up a little bit. Uh, right now it's coming from the east. the portage sign. I'm very, 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 very close to it. Uh, I can also hear the roar of Carl's Falls uh, off in the distance, which I'm really excited to see uh, on the way out. Uh, I was actually wanting to stay there and I was trying to figure out how to just stay here and then paddle that small distance and do like, I think it's one or two tiny portages and then stay there today instead of you know, getting some distance in. So I think doing this route the way that I'm doing it uh, should help with that. I feel like there's a slog fest coming ahead here somewhere. This is the corner. <laughs> somewhere here, I don't see a sign, but I think I will soon. I just checked the map. According to the map, I am on the portage, so it must be in behind here somewhere. So if there might have been a better route. I don't know. Let's see. Because I can see a little bit more open water in front of me here. I'm not going straight through. Welcome to Tamagami, where even a 300 meter portage 
will give you a run for your money. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.